everybody and welcome to this video. I was very aggressive, I'm sorry. This video is going to be one part mail haul, one part review, all parts awesome, okay? So, strap in. So you guys remember that I um, got the City Lights Pocket Poets Anthology 60th Anniversary Edition edited by Lawrence Verlinghetti. <sighs> And um, went through in great detail, sort of, um, this book and what I liked and what I didn't and the whole fucking thing. Now, if you recall that, there was one poet in there that I was shocked to shit was really good. And I couldn't fucking believe it. And I fucking yelled it and yelled it and yelled it. And then I told you guys I was going to get the book and that I had it in my cart and that I found it for really cheap. And then one of you guys went out there and fucking snagged it from me before I hit buy. <sighs> So I had to get one that was a little more expensive. Well, guess what? Here's my hand. Sorry. Guess what? I got it. It came in the mail the other day. And I just haven't had a chance to record a video yet. Pocket Poet Series, number three. Poems of Humor and Protest by Kenneth M. F. and Patchen. Damn it. Look at this. Look at this. This is its fifth printing. And it's only 75 cents. Here's a blurb about them. And these are other titles in the titles. So let me see. When would this have been? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there were eight other Pocket Poet series books. And I think they only did these once a year. So I'm not 100% on that. But if you recall what these other ones look like, oh, they're not there anymore. Um, they are perfect bound. This, stapled. Yes, stapled. Look at that. This book, okay, from City Light San Francisco, this fifth printing came out in 1959. Look at that. The original, um, I guess... Might have came out in 1949 or 1954. This is the book. And I read it. I was so excited to fucking read it. Um, and I gotta tell you. I'm so fucking let down by this book. I, I, I don't know what to say. And here is the only logical conclusion I could come up with. When you are reading this book that has all these different poets from all these different periods in the last 60 years when it was done with all this stuff there are some good stuff there is some bad stuff there is some awful stuff and then every once in a while you hit a gem like the poems by Kenneth Patchen that were in here or at least from this book but I think what the thing was <sighs> He had a geographical monopoly on what was happening. There was so much mediocre poetry in this anthology that the poems he had in there were fucking really good. Okay? And they made these seem a lot better. But when you take him just by himself and you read this, it's okay. Okay. I think my expectations were so high on finding like a new poet that I was just in love with and that was going to be so great that opening this book, I probably built something way too big for Kenneth Patchen to even be able to fucking walk around with. With that said, I'm going to give you some tidbits here. If you look at the table of contents here, you will see... They have page numbers over on the side, but next to the titles of the poems, you have numbers in um, parentheses. And you're like, what the fuck is that? Well, if you look over here, it says, note, the poems herein have been selected by the author from the following books, and the provenance of each poem is indicated in the table of contents by number. So those one through seven, those are the books that these poems originated from okay so that's pretty cool so you have all these books here i was looking at the numbers and i read this thing 
cover to cover. And I realized that the poems I really liked really only came from two books out of these right here. That's interesting. So those books, I don't know if I should tell you guys because then you'll go out and buy them. No, I'm just kidding. Here's the thing. These books here, these are relatively easy to find compared to this. This was kind of a bitch to find. But when I was looking for them, I saw tons of copies of all of these. So here's what I'll say. The poems I really liked are from number one, First Will and Testament, and number five, Cloth of the Tempest. There was actually another poem that I really liked that was out of Red Wine and Yellow Hair. So, with that said, that tells me, oh, maybe I should get those books and see what I see and see if I like anything. So, I think that's the the next job on the Kenneth Patchen tour that I'm going on. And um, two of the poems in here, in this lovely little book, caught me off guard and it took me back to my days in the fucking Kinkos doing the Xeroxes. Okay, look at this. This is called Carnival at Night. That is the poem, Carnival at Night. I'll read it as best as I can. The bells with fliver sounds the region flank. See the bearded lady. Oh, watch the towns getting sleepy. Is this the right change, God? Yellow, red, green, dog, bear, wolf, sweet light. The poem itself is kind of shit. This, however, how he did it, it's kind of inspiring. It makes you go, wow, I want to fucking just make shit, do a collage with just a pen and not having to cut anything out. And you're just like doing whatever the fuck you want. That's cool. There's another one like that here. This one's probably a little more um, done up. This is called At the Gates of Lucky Town. <clears throat> and this one he actually has pieces cut out and put on here. Okay? So I'll, I'll read this to you. At the Gates of Lucky Town. All the good books written in America. A bum steer. Wake up your liver, bile. Worried dog. Uh... Delay of soul and then there's a picture of some dude who I think is naked holding a newspaper it says Wilbur and then there is a silly rabbit with shoes that's what it says so it's just an interesting cool little collage that is inspiring that like gets your brain going at least for me I'm like oh dude what can I do like that what can I put together do I have any thing that I need to say that this would work with, but then I look at this, I'm like, he has almost nothing to say, and he's doing this. So, that was really cool. And then just, like, there, there's some good poems in here, and they're mainly the ones I liked from the anthology. There are some interesting looking things, like this one. This poem is called The Murder of Two Men by a Young Kid Wearing Lemon-Colored Gloves. And this is what it looks like. It says, wait, wait. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you. But then at the very end, it says now. So this is, again, like you could tell from this that the murderer is waiting until the perfect moment to jump into action. And all of the space, that's to build the suspense, the pauses. It, it builds it. Do I think this is a good poem? No, but I like the idea of it. Um, and then a lot of his stuff is written very big and blocky. Um, so, you know, it's just all different kind of stuff. Um, he even has this um, fragment from a little play. Um, and it's kind of inside baseball 
a little bit some of the stuff but I really feel like a lot of poetry that came out um, after or around the time the beats kind of hit the scene turned poetry into I understand why they did it they were trying to take it out of the hands of the literati and give it to the people so in doing so they formed their little schools and their little brotherhoods and constantly name dropped and did the whole fucking thing so I understand why it was done um, it just it has never sat well with me so anyway this book I'm glad I have it the, the poems in here that I like I like um, it's really good and I, it's a really old edition that I really like I love staples I love finding books with staples Jesus Christ that's so cool it is what it is I'm gonna pick up those other books that I was talking about and if you've read any Kenneth Patchen what are your favorite books of his what kind of stuff of his do you like let me know down below and enjoy guys I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video, and if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you could run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.